Hey guys, Chief from Spreadshot Games. I'm here to do another unboxing. Today it's going to be on the Bioshock Infinite Songbird Edition. I have been waiting since Bioshock 1 for this game to come out. When Bioshock 1 sold so well, um, they announced they were going to make a third one. It was already known that before I think even Bioshock 1 was out, they planned to do a sequel to that game. But since Bioshock 1 sold so well, uh, it got permission for a third one, and this one was went back to um, you know Ken Levine, the guys at Irrational, um, to make this one. As you know, I think Bioshock Two was developed by Two K Marin and not Two K Boston, so it was a different team. And a lot of people didn't like it for that reason, but in my opinion, Bioshock Two is an amazing game on its own. Um, I know everybody says the first one's better. In certain aspects, I agree, but Bioshock 2, I believe in a lot of ways, is better than Bioshock 1. But we're talking about Bioshock Infinite. And to start out with, I literally went balls of the walls with everything from this game because I anticipated it so much. So I got the highest limited edition I could get. I got the limited edition um, strategy guide. I got the season pass. Uh, everything you can get for this I got. So we'll start out with the uh, strategy guide. It's a hard book strategy guide as you can see with Songbird on the front. It's got some cardboard stuff in the back and it comes with that uh, birdcage uh, key right there. But I'm going to start peeling it off. I already made my incisions to get the stuff open so you don't have to see me pick it shit forever on a video. But there is your book. But that's the thing I want to try to make this go as quick as possible. Um, and I'm just showing off these unboxing videos as a way for um, limited editions and stuff like that. For people that don't get these, that kind of want to see what's in them, any of my subscribers or anybody on YouTube, um, what's in it and everything, I really don't get off on opening a bunch of new stuff. Uh, I know there's people out there that any standard edition or any normal cell phone or, hell, Blu-ray that comes out, they'll do an unboxing of it. Uh, that's very boring to me, but... Unless I have like a special edition or something like that, I'm usually not going to do an unboxing. But there's the birdcage keychain. As you can see, the birdcage is on one side, and the bird is on the other. And that's really cool. And I think that's the only thing that really comes with this box. Because it looks like it's full of foam on the back, but there's just an advertisement for it on the other side. I'll probably keep this anyway just because it is something that went with the game. And moving on, this is what the box looks like to the Ultimate Songbird Edition. You can see songbirds in the front there. You got amazing art of Elizabeth on the side and Booker DeWitt on the other side. And the back is just standard advertisement jargon. It tells you what you get on the back, which what you do get is the Songbird statue, the limited edition art book, the handyman figures, the Devil's Kiss lithograph, the Murder of Crows keychain, I'm giving you a lot of keychains with this, the digital soundtrack, an upgrade pack, and Xbox Live avatar stuff. So, and then the top art is the Bioshock Infinite. Trying not to bend a lot of stuff up, which I didn't do a very good job because I already bent that. But pull this out first. I think the game's in there, along with the keychain and the handyman figure. There's your game. Doesn't look different than the standard edition's art. There's your soundtrack download. 
some art on the front. Getting hella bad glare. There we go. I will not be flipping it around to show the things because I trust everybody, but I know my boy Scuba got burned on stuff like that. The art on your avatar items. Which is really shitty, by the way. Like, that's fucking lame to do shit like that. And. The upgrade pack of different figures and stuff you can get from pre-order in the special edition. And I think the season pass comes with like limited edition guns and stuff like that too. Open this up and see. Oh, this is the lithograph. The Devil's Kiss lithograph. Excuse my damn light, it's annoying. If I don't use the light, everything looks like shit. If I use the light, it glares off everything I want to show you. And that came in like this packet with the Columbia seal. This here is the art book. That's weird, it's got like this denim fabric cover on it, that's pretty cool. Got a Columbia seal on it. It's really neat, but I don't think it does not beat the uh, the Bioshock 2 art book. That thing was a full fledged hardcover. It was bigger than the strategy guide I think I have for this game. It was that art book is amazing. The best one I've ever gotten in any limited edition game. Here's the Murder of Crows keychain box. They make these boxes to where you almost have to fuck them up to open them. stuck in there. So that's, yeah, that's a, the Viker Murder of Crows from the game. It's a little bottle and they put it in there as a keychain. And then the handyman figure comes in a little box too. I like how they keep the, the little packaging and everything is like holds to the vintage you know, art looking theme of the game. I gotta say, this is not impressive. I think this goes to like a board game that's gonna come out. Because also, there's a limited edition card you get with the... with the, um... strategy guide. That... Uh goes to like some board game that's coming out so this might be a piece to the board game I don't know but I gotta say that's kind of sad looks like a little 25 cent machine toy I'll put him back in his box and then the big boy oh, I have to admit one of the biggest things that draw me drew me to buy a shock infinite was the songbird. Um, if any of you guys know me well, I'm a huge fan of just monsters, and the songbird is just a classic looking, awesome, steampunk dragon. You know, I mean, obviously, it looks more like a bird, but the art direction of this particular character is amazing, and it's one of the coolest things I think out of any lore I've ever seen. So, I was hoping, as soon as I saw Songbird, that the edition would have a statue of him or some kind of figure, or that even if it didn't, that Irrational or somebody, toy company, would make a, like, figure of Songbird. And I think even with this figure, um, I'm still, if I ever find, like, another, like, uh, really nice statue of it, 
I will buy that too because I like this thing so much. So I'm going to unpack this and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, so here's Songbird in all his glory. God, it's just a such a cool looking piece, man. Everything about this thing is cool. It's pretty sizable, as you can see, and like relevance to my hand, but. The details in it is great. The the material it's made out doesn't feel cheap. Um, you know, it's not like ceramic or nothing like that. Um, it's plastic, but it's not like a cheesy type of plastic. But the detail in it is just awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.